This video is sponsored by Omaze. Omaze gives away super unique prizes and experiences while donating money to charities around the world. The current prize is a DeLorean DMC-12, an original iconic DeLorean that has been restored. All entries for this prize benefit the Peterson Automotive Museum, their education programs, and automotive preservation work. The Peterson Museum is amazing, with all kinds of movie-based exhibits that will impress any serious film buff. And seriously, folks, the prize is a freaking DeLorean. Who doesn't want to pretend to be Marty McFly? It's the ultimate collector item even without the flux capacitor or misdistribution. To potentially win a DeLorean DMC-12 and support the Peterson Automotive Museum, go to omaze.com slash cinemasins. That's omaze.com slash cinemasins. The link is in the video description. I know this is a dream he's explaining and all, but where are these awards being held that's just across Westminster Bridge from the tower often incorrectly known as Big Ben? The London Aquarium? The Waterloo Train Station? Gale's Bakery South Bank? Wasting this fun-ass car sequence in a throwaway dream sequence. And how often do you have this dream? Just once. Oh, well that's not A night. Comedic pauses that make no sense in real life. You know what you're doing, Ryan. Quit being a dick to your therapist and say what you mean the first time. It's a hitman wanted for like a zillion murders around the world. Even took a bullet with Theris position! Actually, more like Theris position eviously on the hitman's bodyguard. I don't have validation issues. I have a licensing issue. But if you're experiencing trouble having your license validated, you kind of have both, no? I am a bodyguard without a license. That's like being a, a belly dancer without a torso. No, it's like being a belly dancer without a license to belly dance. Or a cab driver without a license to drive cabs. Or Michael Bay without a license to blow random f up to cover up a lack of plot character development and need for basic human decency. Capri, like the pants. You're going with pants instead of the delicious fruit flavored drink that taught us all to be stabby straw assassins? Are you even American, bro? You've graduated therapy. I see this movie went to the What About Bob school of selfish therapists who try to ditch their clients. Can I keep my pen knife though? That is a Swiss army knife, a pocket knife, or a multi-tool knife. One of the very few things it isn't is a pen knife. I don't care if you're in England and you call a pocket knife a pen knife. This f***er has a corkscrew and I'm not having any of your nonsense. If you need a sign this explicit, you are not doing anger correctly. We now cross live as the head of the EU, Mr. Walter Fischer, will announce his decision. And now that we've disposed of the necessary exposition dump, this imaginary news announcer that we've never seen will cease to exist. In case you confused it with Athens, Georgia. Did you know that Greece is the motherland of uh, civilization? This villain's entire motivation is based on Greece's greatest hits. I mean, sure, the early stuff was really good, but they've had to replace some people and the new stuff just isn't the same. Well, that's cute, but since you bring it up again, I'm still craving the surfer cooler flavor while fumbling to insert that tiny straw like a drunk virgin on prom night. Sitting at the beach in full-length khakis and a long sleeve button-up shirt. If I had to guess what brand of headphones these are that somehow block out multiple gunshots and the noise of chaos that's happening directly behind him, I'd guess they're plot sheets by Dre. I know this sounds crazy, but this really feels like a new <laughs> Was that record scratch in the voicemail he left for himself? Or did they just add that afterwards to annoy me? This badass entrance makes me wish all of Sama Hayek's characters had been introduced this way. And I'm not just talking about Wild Wild West. I want this in Fool's Rush in and in Freedom. I don't care if it makes sense. And I am gonna fuck your dreams until they wish they were your nightmares. Sonya assumes this is outside the realm of a possible fetish, and I will not let this movie get away with that kind of kink shaming. One of my favorite things in movies is how when characters jump from high heights, they always kick their legs a bunch as if they're trying to walk on air all the way down. Do you think people really do that? Believe it or not, they're not walking on air. So where is he? They took him from me, Breeze. Plus begins a complete uninterrupted conversation that somehow cuts between seven different environments and without any explanations as to how it remained coherent. It's almost like it's a distraction to keep us from thinking about how their pursuers didn't see them escape. We have so hard. Movie. Positions. And has. Me diamante is too tight. Time. The wine is firm. For. My pipe. This. The director said apples are played out, so let's have the character take a puff from a vape so the modern audience knows he's an asshole. Data junctions are always encased in tungsten carbide. My attempts to confirm this were unsuccessful, and I'm pretty sure that I'm on a list now. Also, I'm not going to show all of it, but the setup here is that a diamond drill bit can be drilled through a random point of a data junction, then a glowy blue device can be plugged into the end of the drill bit, which will give instant access and also the ability to use full-on electrical explosions to incapacitate a detailed and specific part of the power grid. I mean, what? This is basically how my friend Roger explained sex to me in the third grade and about as comprehensible. The bigger the junction you wish to hack, the bigger the drill you will need. Thinking that size matters. It's not the size of the diamonds that count, it's the skill of the drill. Listen, 
I have been in Europe for a month, okay? And the only thing you people do is watch fucking soccer. That's your racist. Not one bar carries Sam Adams. People from Boston are annoying. What, expecting the word cliche? I said what I said. These are the tiny heads that are holding my cucaracha. <laughs> Get it? She has a filthy mouth and she keeps saying dirty words. All the hilarity. Sonya curses, we laugh, wash out mouth, rinse, repeat. I can't play it, but this Lionel Richie's hello's on for some time. And fresh cucumbers on my eyes! You did not. Namaste, mother Bikram yoga. The hitman, the bodyguard, and the con woman. Close enough, roll the credits, and let's call it a day. And I know who all three of you sh heads are. Bobby exposits all the reasons he doesn't trust these three. You're gonna make the buy instead. Right before trusting these three. <laughs> What if somebody's upstairs? As per usual, Ryan Reynolds would be dead pooly in at CinemaSins. Now's a good time to, to, to talk about the seatbelt rule. Perhaps now's a good time to talk about the shut the fuck up rule. Or perhaps now's a good time to talk about the try something different than repeating all the humor beats from the first movie rule. It's hilarious every time, but the physics of this movie has not been crazy enough to justify Bryce surviving this. 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 Or this. Also, even if a car could accelerate that fast, there is no way this guy removed the gas nozzle that quickly. You could go to jail for leaving a dog in a hot car. Look, I love these three. I even love them together. But they have been bantering for the past 10 minutes of the movie with absolutely zero plot momentum in a way that makes me think there were multiple pages of this script that were blank with just the words, no idea for this scene, but you guys are great together, so do some stuff on them. Last time I saw something like this, Bruce Willis was drilling a hole in an asteroid. This is much more like a pared down version of the machine drills from the Matrix Revolutions, but I'm willing to forgive not seeing that one. However, why would anyone need to compare the size of this drill to the height of some random person? Also, do packing slips have detailed schematics on them? I mean, aside from in terrible movies that can't generate story momentum in organic ways, of course. This drill was f***ing massive. No, this drill was the size of a person. Even if the person is George Mearson, still smaller than pretty much any oil drill. But I guess they don't have those in Boston. I will personally make sure you get your transfer back to Boston. This whole side story about Bobby wanting to get back to Boston is just silly. Why would anyone want to go back to Boston? I said what I said! What did I tell him? Burn the phone! Pick it up! Um, you told him to burn the phone and then pick it up? At first I thought you said burner phone, but the subtitles clearly say burn the phone. Strange that the subs would be confusing in a movie that is otherwise so clear and polished. I totally get the appeal of sitting in a secluded section of the club and paying for overpriced alcohol, but I don't care how much you love the VIP section. If you're dealing stolen goods in a world where hitmen seem to make up 50% of the population, you sure as sh aren't gonna post up in a booth where someone can take a shot at you from 100 yards outside the club. These are the classified coordinates to the entire European data grid. It comes with a fancy visualization. You know, as classified data files often do. Also, European data grid is such a general and undefined thing that it might as well be a MacGuffin. But honestly, this entire plot is so generic and undefined that really the whole movie is probably a MacGuffin to distract us from an excuse for these guys to party in Italy and Croatia for a bit and squeeze a few dollars out of a surprise hit before anyone notices. Michael Bryce, didn't he lose his license when Kurosawa was killed? Oh, for fuck's sake, if this random hench person is up on his Bryce trivia enough to know those details, how did he not recognize him sooner? This guy politely waits for Sonya to finish screaming and grab a gun before he even thinks about finishing the job. Who said chivalry was dead? Find the fugitives, kill them. Movie teases a manhunt, then says screw it, and just has all the necessary characters just show up in the same place at the same time. In case you confused it with Florence and the machine. Taking an unknown substance would likely be a sin in almost any scenario, but when you're dealing with someone who has proven over and over again to be impulsive, erratic, and untrustworthy, it's a lot of sins. You know, award for Hitman. Yeah, it's called Lethal Injection. That's not an award, that's a reward. Awards are given as recognition in a field of possible winners, and rewards are given as a direct one-to-one -one compensation for a given action. Yes, it's a slight pedantic language difference, but slight pedantic language differences are my specialty. It's like Liberace banged a set of curtains. Are you insinuating Liberace didn't bang a set of curtains? Have you never looked behind the candelabra? Whoa, oh, Zento! That is a good mother hitman. Seems like if Zento was half the hitman Darius claimed he was, he would have been able to hit one of these three people standing on a roof out in the open. This whole escape will turn out to be a drug-related delusion, but when they do the real thing, it's the exact same streets, turns, and even people. So does this mean Bryce somehow had some sort of extrasensory perception that allowed him to see the future? If I'd known that this was a next sequel, I'd have been a little easier on it. This gunman is trying to shoot around the other two pursuit vehicles. Even the war boys from Fury Road had better sense than this. Good afternoon. I'd like to offer up a ceasefire. She hears this. Here you are, my son, and this is your home. What the f I know, right? Can you imagine anything more ridiculous than an interracial family? What a shocking thing that you would be shocked by, so your shock could be shockingly laughed at by the audience. Also, the fact that this will become a running gag probably means I should add some running sins as well. Bryce, that looks like a freckle. Motherfucker, have you ever seen a freckle? A rash, maybe, or a spider bite, but a freckle? Get the f out of here with that freckle sh
To this day, I've no idea why a full-figured, 290-pound Italian man wanted to ride the paratrooper. To you, it's just riding the paratrooper. To some, it's grabbing hold of life itself, throwing off the chains of expectation and living for just one moment on that intangible edge between the sea and the shore. Yes, that ride may have buckled that day under the weight of this heavy-set man, but how many dreams have buckled under the weight of this grand carousel we all find ourselves on? We all must ride the paratrooper with wind in our hair and salt on our hands. We must ride. To not ride now, that is the real sin. Sorry about the gelato. I'm glad someone has finally apologized. It has a weird texture. Movie thinks three people would enjoy riding around in a two-seat convertible coupe. I want to join Dad's agency. Bryce and son, that sounds a little cotton mouth. Why do these darts take down the Kincaids in a split second, but Bryce has a full 10 seconds to crack some jokes? Also, how many darters are there to hit him simultaneously from this many different angles? And if there were that many of them, why didn't they shoot them all at once instead of one at a time? Did they double major in dart blowing and comedic timing? Monica, a girl who had lost her way. Take your pick of the sin litter here. Flashbacks, backstory, narration. What's that? You want me to sin all three? Wow, out for blood today, aren't you? Okay then, flashback duration it is. Why would you torture these two in the same area? It exponentially increases the chances of, well, everything that happens the rest of this scene. It's almost like the movie wants these two to escape. I guess we'll find out what a mace will do. Except that's not a mace, that's a ball and chain flail, or just a flail if you prefer. Some might call it a morning star or even a chain mace, but the one thing no weapons expert would call that is a mace. There were a few maces beside this on the convenient wall of convenient weapons, but you did not choose one. Also, Mace Windu, finding out what Mace will do is a sign that Easter eggs and movies have finally gone too far. I mean, yes, yes, I have testicles. The right one, cool in the gang. Left one, for Gacy. With Cool in the Gang, I'm pretty sure we can assume he's talking about Get Down On It. But with Fugazi, the movie really needs to clarify if we're talking about burning or two beats off. You work for the bad guys? This twist might hold a bigger wallop if we had met his dad more than 15 minutes ago and spent more than about five minutes with him. But sure, let's make the rest of the movie about this. I spoke to the review board. They agree with me. You're barred for life. So you set up Bryce to be tortured and possibly killed, but still took the time to have the review board bar him for life? Someone his age should be more conservative with his energy. No breakup has ever been so bad that it made me want to drink a random stranger's backwash. How could you think for a second that I would leave you? It's a great question, considering the audience didn't fall for it either. This movie's story has more inauthentic movements than an employee bathroom stall at Walmart. The Greek economy is in the shitter and Aristotle is pissed because he loves Greece so much, but he seems to be doing just fine financially. And instead of putting that wealth towards developing an industry or at least an app, he's decided to spend a bunch of money destroying the internet for some reason. Just saying it seems like Greece's star player showed up at the end of the game and is pissed at the other team because his team lost. Putting a countdown on this is the news equivalent of a ruined orgasm. Sure, sanctions can be devastating, but unlike Aristotle's plan, nothing immediately blows up. Also, the graphics team for this station really phoned in this Chiron. So, how does it feel to lose the one you love? And of course, he knew about this call, because this story needed yet another obvious plot twist. This movie's audience saw things coming more often than, well, an employee bathroom stall at Walmart. Every one of these assholes shoots at the grill instead of the windshield or the tires. Also, leaving just enough room for the approaching car to squeeze through. And we need them. Premeditated murder of Gary and Johan. Well, can we skip a couple levels get to the hard sh Super Mario Warp Zones. What the f*** was his plan for this tiny piece of leather? And of course we have Bodyguard versus Bodyguard and Hitman versus Hitman because Marvel's same versus same mantra has now infected all of filmdom. I can see around corners! Yes, this is an advantage. And it would be an even greater advantage had he not screamed about it out loud like an asshole. Kiss. My. Well, that was just dumb on multiple levels. Bringing a broken bottle to a knife fight and deciding you don't need that either. Virus upload initiated. Estimated time, six minutes. Earlier, the virus upload was immediate. But now it's six minutes? Of course it is, because you can't have a finale without a ticking clock. How would the audience feel tension without it? Going full Scarface when this murderous boat scene is clearly out of Carlito's way. One phone call. And the review board renews your license. This ploy is so contrived at this point that if Bryce went for it, I would have added a thousand goddamn sins. But he didn't, so it escapes with just the necessary sin for even suggesting it. Aristotle is somehow too busy laying down suppressive fire to realize Darius is to the right of him. Darius and Aristotle both pause for this dramatic standoff instead of firing their weapons, even though they were literally just trying to kill each other. And knife's a very versatile tool. No one sees it coming. Or feels it entering them, apparently. That knife is in his jugular. Funnily enough, no one sees it coming or feels it entering them is exactly what my college girlfriend said about my penknife. I mean, is, pen, is. I'm talking about my 
Bryce's dad tells him that if he disables the virus, the ship will explode. So he has to choose to save Europe or himself, which sets up the classic, how will he manage to do it and still survive? I can't wait to see what clever way the movie solves this dilemma. It's going to be so... What the f***? Disturbing the piece I got thrown out of a window!